Okay, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find uh, the velocity function as a function of position using calculus. We just solved for this using uh, algebra-based techniques. Now I'm going to show you how to use it, how to derive this using calculus-based techniques. Uh, a lot of times, calculus-based uh, techniques are actually easier than uh, the uh, the algebra-based. Um, that's not always the case, but a lot of times it is. And and in this particular example, I think it is easier to use calculus to derive this uh, velocity function as a function of position and not time, because usually we see time in here, right? So I'm going to start off first. I'm going to talk about acceleration. What is the definition of acceleration that we all think of? Well, it's the rate change of the velocity with respect to time, right? But in calculus, um, we can eliminate parameters using the chain rule. I want to eliminate the parameter of time. Notice there's no time up here, right? So that doesn't really help us yet, right? That doesn't help us. But I can use the chain rule to say that acceleration is the change of the velocity with respect to x times the change of x with respect to time. And these two parameters will cancel out. You see that, how they would cancel out these two dx's here? So I'm just going to end up back with dv dt if I multiplied these two derivatives out. But that's not my objective here. My objective is to eliminate this parameter. So what is dx dt here? What is that? That in and of itself is a function that we've talked about. That is the definition of velocity, right? That's velocity, right? So if I write this out here, I can say that the acceleration is going to equal dv dx times the velocity, OK? So that's basically the toughest part of this. That's the toughest part, is to eliminate the parameter of time and to recognize that dx dt equals velocity, OK? So that's one way to do it. Another way, we, we could have solved it and eliminated a parameter um, I could have eliminated a parameter just by substituting into equations before we even set up the differential, but this is fine here too. This is this is a much easier way I think to deal with this. So I want to separate my variables. So I'm going to have I'm going to take the dx up here. So I'm going to have acceleration dx is going to equal velocity dv. Now in this case, velocity is a function here. It is a function. So we need to um, we need to appropriately uh, integrate this as a variable, OK? So I just want to point that out. This is not going to be a constant. This one, however, is going to be a constant. So when I take the integrals here, if I take the integral of acceleration dx and the integral of velocity dv, because that's going to be a function now, v is not constant, acceleration is. So now that I recognize that fact, I can bring my acceleration out here. Okay, so I want to bring that constant outside of my integral. So I have the integral of d of x equals the integral of v dv. And I'm writing out all the steps here. It's, you know, you, you, some people may have just go ahead, gone ahead and integrated there. I'm going to define this from x initial to x final, v initial to v final right here. So if I extend the page down here, I'm going to have a times x or position evaluated from initial position to final position is going to equal, now i got to, remember this is v to the 1, so it's going to be v squared over 2 evaluated from v initial to v final, okay? So when I write this out, I'm going to get a times x minus x initial, or initial position minus final position is going to equal v squared over 2 minus v initial squared over 2, right there, like that. And so we're basically like two steps away here. I just got to have to clean this up a little bit. This is the same as all of this being over 2. Uh, so I could have, I could also just rewrite that just to clarify. And this is the same as delta x, OK? So I'm just going to say delta x, because what's the definition of delta x? Delta x is, is final minus initial right here. And then this is just the same thing as saying v squared minus v initial squared over 2, OK? So I'm going to bring this 2 over here, OK? So I'm going to bring the 2, I'm going to bring the 2 over here, multiply it here, and I'm going to add the uh, the VO over here. So once I 
once I multiply everything over and add and add over the V initial squared, I'm simply going to have V final squared equals V initial squared plus 2A delta X. And there's my final equation using calculus to derive this. Once again, I just want to emphasize that this is a function of the position, not of time. So that's what makes this unique. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.